In today's video, I am going to explain what is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation or inhomogeneous recurrence relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics. See here, any equation which is of the form a n is equal to c1 a n minus 1 plus c2 a n minus 2 plus and so on c k a n minus k plus g of n where c1, c2, c3 and so on ck are the real numbers and g of n is a function not identically 0 depending only on n. See, in my earlier videos, I have told you how to make this homogeneous solution. And in today's video, I am discussing about the particular solutions of for g of n. See here, if g of n, if this is a constant, if it is a constant c, then the particular solution will be our assumption as d. And if g of n is of the form c0 plus c1n, so we have to assume our particular solution as d0 plus d1k. If it's of r power n, so we have to assume our particular solution as d into r power n. So, this is a simple way to choose the particular solution. And after getting the particular solution, so we have to find the general solution. So, general solution is nothing but a n of h plus a n of p. So, a n h is nothing but the homogeneous solution and a n p is nothing but the particular solution. So, using these so, I am going to solve one problem for you and find the recurrence relation a n is equal to 3 times of a n minus 1 plus 2 n, 2 power n, where a naught is given as 1. See here, first of all, what is the inhomogeneous recurrence relation? So, the given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is The given non-homogeneous recurrence relation is nothing but a n minus 3 times of a n minus 1 is equal to 2 power n. First of all, I am going to write the homogeneous recurrence relation. So, the homogeneous recurrence relation is the homogeneous recurrence relation is see here a n minus 3 times of a n minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, the characteristic equation will be, the characteristic equation is, so for this the characteristic equation is nothing but r minus 3 is equal to 0. So, clearly r is equal to the characteristic root is equal to 3. Therefore, the homogeneous solution, therefore the homogeneous solution is nothing but this is a c1 3 power n. So, this is c1 3 power n. So, this is our homogeneous solution. So, I am naming it as A. And now, let us get started for particular solution. For finding the particular solution, see here, since RHS is equal to, since our RHS, what is RHS here? 2 power n. Since RHS of uh, the recurrence relation is 2 power n and 2 is not the characteristic root. So, 2 is not the, the characteristic root. So, 2 is not the characteristic root. See here, let the particular solution be let the particular solution of the recurrence relation. So, the given recurrence relation is a n is equal to d into this is 2 power n. See here our, our solution what is what is the given equation a n minus see here this is a n minus 3 times of a n minus 1 is equal to 2 power n. So, this is our inhomogeneous recurrence relation. So, this is inhomogeneous recurrence relation. So, in this we have to substitute in place of n as d into 2 power n. So, this will be d into 2 power n minus 3 times of in, in place of n we have to substitute n minus 1 into this is 2 power n. So, here this will be d into 2 power n minus 3 d. This is 2 power n by 2 is equal to again 2 power n. So, if I take 
d into this is 2 power n common. So, this will be minus 3 times of d into 2 power n. So, this will be 3 by 2 is equal to 2 power n. Now, I can cancel this 2 power n on both sides. Then what happens here? So, this is d times of. So, this is 2 minus 3 by 2 is equal to 1 and d is equal to minus half is equal to 2. Therefore, d is equal to minus 2. So, we got the value of d as minus 2. After getting d as minus 2, so we have to place here. So, if I substitute d is equal to minus 2, then our particular solution will be. So therefore, therefore, our particular solution is a n is equal to d is equal to minus 2. So, this is power n. So, this solution is going to be a n at p, a n of p particular solution is equal to minus 2 power, this is n plus 1. So, this is nothing but b. So, therefore, our general solution is equal to, therefore, the general solution is, therefore, what is our general solution? The general solution of the given recurrence relation is, a n is equal to the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. See here a n. So, what is our homogeneous solution from a? So, we will find a. The homogeneous solution is c1 into 3 parent. So, this is c1 into this is 3 parent. What is our particular solution? So, this is minus 2 power n plus 1. So, this is nothing but the solution. So, after getting this one, so we have a condition that the initial condition here is a0 is equal to 1. So, a0 is equal to 1. Since a0 is equal to 1, so given a0 value is equal to 1, so put n is equal to 0. So, if I keep n is equal to 0, that is c1, 3 power 0, this is 0 plus 1. So, a0 value is equal to this is c1 minus and this value is 2. So, what is a0? a0 value is equal to 1. So, 1 is equal to c1 minus 2 and c1 value is equal to this is 1 plus 2 and c1 value is equal to 3. So, we got the value of c1 as 3. Therefore, so if I place here in this general solution c1 as 3, then c. Therefore, a n value is equal to, therefore, a n. R a n is equal to, see here, this is c1 into 3 power n minus 2 power n plus 1. So, this is our general solution. In this, if I substitute c1 is equal to 3, that is 3 times of 3 power n minus 2 times of n plus 1. So, a n value is equal to 3 power n plus 1 minus 2 power, this is n plus 1. So, this is the required general solution. So, this is the required general solution for the inhomogeneous so this is non homogeneous recurrence relation non homogeneous recurrence relation so this is the general solution so this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you look for once so this is the question given so this is rhs is given therefore it is non homogeneous recurrence relation so first we have to write the homogeneous so we have to make this rhs 0 and what is the characteristic equation this is r minus 3 is equal to 0 and r is equal to 3 is the root so here we can write as c1 3 power n see here since the rhs is equal to 2 power n and 2 is not the characteristic. So, here 2 is not the characteristic. 3 is the characteristic. Therefore, let us assume the particular solution as a n is equal to d into 2 power n. And let me tell you one thing here. So, here in my previous video, so here r h s is equal to, see here r h s is equal to 2 power n. And we got the root as 2. Since R H S is equal to 2 power n and 2 is the characteristic root. So, our assumption a n is equal to d 
n times of 2 power n. So here 2 is not the characteristic. We miss this n. d into 2 power n is nf if 2 is not the characteristic equation. So here 3 is the characteristic equation and so our particular solution is a n is equal to d times of 2 power n. So this is nf in place of uh, n we have to write d into 2 power n and in place of uh, a n minus 2 we have to write d into 2 power n minus 1. So, here is the d value. So, if I substitute d value here, this is minus 2 into 2 power n after getting the particular solution. So, this will be the general solution. Homogeneous solution per plus the particular solution. So, this is our general solution. So, we have to find this constant using this initial condition that is a naught is equal to 1. So, after putting n is equal to 0, I got c1 is equal to 3. So, if I substitute c1 as a 3, then this is the general solution for the given non-homogeneous reference solution. So, this is so simple if you follow these few steps and I will be uploading the solutions for the constants which are of the form d naught, c naught plus uh, C1, K and so on. So, you will be getting the solutions of different, different uh, kinds of G of N. So, please have a look at those. If you follow all these four or five videos, you will be getting a uh, idea to solve how to solve this non-homogeneous reference relation. If you really like, you know what to do, please practice. Pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you so much.